Hey Jacqueline, just Matt here from Henry Shine, just doing a really quick video, taking you through um, if you were to integrate in um, like a 3D printer into your practice, how you would uh, take a scan and turn it into a 3D printable object. So essentially uh, you go into the, the case that you did. So I believe this might have been the, the case that we did today. So what you can do after the case has been post-processed, um, you can export the case as an SDL. So once this opens up, uh, this is our case here. So we can right click, export, and we can export the scans. So I'm going to just export these as an STL. And I'm gonna uh, call this test. This is just going to the desktop. So saving, so once you've finished doing your scan and you wanted to save it, save it to your desktop wherever you wanted to and then this here is a mesh mixer so to bring in you can see we've got test upper test um, upper pre prep then upper jaw and also the lower so we'll just do uh, the pre prep so you just grab it drop it in mesh mixer so you can see there that's our scan that we did so if you wanted to trim up any areas so see these areas if you wanted to make it a little bit tidier you can go select and we can start to draw so you can see it's selected that area if we were to draw a line there and I don't want to let's just go clear what I'll do and we'll just we'll bring the size down a little bit So that I'm happy with. So now we can go edit, discard. You can see that's cleaned it up now. All these little bits and pieces. What you do want to make sure. You just want to make sure that they're all selected, that they don't give you any grief. So now that we're all trimmed up. Now if you trim that up more in your Trios software, obviously you wouldn't have to do it in this software. So now that's selected, or now that's all cleaned up, we can go to Edit, Transform. So what Transform does is we're just gonna put this up onto that plane so it's nice and flat for us to be able to, you know, uh, create a 3D printable object that, with a good base. So we just hit Accept. So now that's done, we can go back into select, double click, everything's highlighted, and now we can extrude. So extruding pulls our model down. So you can see there, it's starting to pull it down. I'm just gonna move the offset a little bit higher. And then from here, we're gonna change it to Y axis and we're going to make it flat. I hit accept. Now you can see it's starting to look like a model that we could 3D print. However, we haven't actually made it solid yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into um, edit, make solid. So when you make it solid, it loses some of its uh, you know clarity. So we can change it to accurate solid accuracy, mesh density, update. So now this is gonna turn it into a solid object, um, but we can do one better. Obviously we'll hollow it out so that we can save some costs on resin. And we're just going to go accept. So now that's all solid now. So the next thing that we're going to do is make it hollow. So we can go hollow. When you choose hollow, you can actually change uh, how thick you want it to be printed. So we'll go 3.1 mil today. 
uh, and update hello. Once that's updated, we just hit accept again. So now that's hollow, and our final thing that we can do will be to, once again, uh, we'll go plain cut. So what plain cut does is it cuts a line through your model. So just bring that down. Maybe. Yep, that's going to be fine. I'm just going to hit accept. So now let's say if this was a model that uh, we wanted to print out and do a suck down on, you could do that. You can see you can just put that into the printer and then that can print out like that. Let's say if this was a child and you wanted to um, allow for some room for a mouth guard, then you can use your sculpt tool just here. You can use the brushes. So you can use inflate, you can increase the strength, you can increase the size. So let's say if you wanted to allow for movement of a, a child's tooth, you can obviously allow something like that. So that's going to allow the tooth to come through. Or likewise, if I decrease the size, let's say if you wanted to add some spacer over the buckle surface for teeth whitening, let's increase the strength of that as well. There we go, so all of a sudden you've got your spacer there. So you can also use Robust Smooth, just to smooth off a little area if you wanted to. That's it. So that then you could pull a do a suck down over that. So once you've finished uh, doing your model over here, so we can go to export. I'm going to export it as an STL binary, and uh, I'm going to save it to. Let's go desktop, and this is test upper pre prep. Do you want to replace it? Yes. So now that we're, we've saved that, now we can actually bring that scan into our Formlabs software. So this is a Formlabs software. So once again, you can just grab it, bring it in, drop it. And this is our model now ready to print. So you can use uh, this tool just here to move it around any way that you like, up, down, left, right, you know, you can adjust it. Uh, essentially, once it's on the build platform, you can drag it, you can add multiple different things all over your build platform. You can, if you wanted to, from here, um, we can go into adding supports, auto-generate. You don't usually have to do too much more than auto-generate. Still worthwhile having a look, just to make sure that you don't, you're not gonna have any issues. So you can see there, it's auto-generated all the supports. And then uh, these are all the basic settings of um, how many of your support structures that you're adding into your model. So you can see if there's any red patches like this, um, that's not so bad, but if there is a red patch, you can always go edit, add a support onto where that one is, hit apply, and that way you know you're not gonna have a misprint in that area. Oh, hold on, let's bring it all the way over. So here we are, virtual printer. So uh, right now you can see that's print, hour, um, print time one hour twenty minutes, uh, one hour thirty minutes. So it will also, if you can go into here. So see how we've got our print uh, thickness, print layers. So hit apply. So that gives you a bit of an idea. Um, so it gives you a build time layers, how many layers it's going to print, and volume. So if you're doing a suck down, that's most probably uh, the setting that you'd need for layer thickness. If you're doing something like a, a splint, um, if you had a splint module, I'll be changing the resolution to maybe 50 or something like that. It's going to take a little bit longer to print. So, so that there gives you an idea of all the uh, different softwares uh, that you'll need to do what you wish. Um, in your clinic. Cheers, Jacqueline. All the best. Thank you. Bye.